All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation three to the power of x plus three to the power of x is equal to 12. So <clears throat> my only variable in this equation is x, so that's the variable I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution, So I have three to the power of X plus three to the power of X is equal to 12. And what I'm first gonna do is factor out three to the power of X. So I get three to the power of X times one plus one is equal to 12. Now one plus one is two. So I get three to the power of X times two is equal to 12. So from here, we wanna isolate X. And to do that, we have to get rid of this times two by dividing both sides by two. So now these two cancel out and I am left with three to the power of X is equal to 12 divided by two, which is six. So now I have in basically another equation from this much larger equation. So this is much more simplified. I have three to the power of X is equal to six. So to solve this, well, we know that X is gonna be a decimal because three to the power of one is three and three to the power of two is nine. So X is gonna be somewhere in between one and two. So we wanna find the exact value of X. So how are we gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of X is equal to log six. And from here, if I have something in the form log A to the power of B, I can move this exponent B to the front. So this turns into B times log a. So I've log three to the power of x and I can move x to the front. So I get x times log three is equal to log six. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by log three because again, we wanna isolate x. So by doing this, these two cancel out and I get X is equal to log six over log three. Now, what I'm gonna do is rewrite log six as log of three times two. So I have log three times two over log three And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of three times two is equal to log of three plus log of two. And I have this over log of three. So now this turns into log of three over log three plus log of two over log three. And now these two cancel out. So I get X is equal to one plus log of two over log of three. Now, log of two is equal to 0 0.301. And log of three is equal to 0 0.4771. So I get X is equal to one plus 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771.
and 0 0.301 over 0 0.4771 is 0 0.6309. So I have x is equal to 1 plus 0 0.6309, which is equal to 1.6309. So this is my solution. All right. So in this video, I'm going to solve the problem 2 to the power of 25 minus 1. So to first start, I'm going to rewrite 2 to the power of 25 as 2 to the power of 24 plus 1. And then we have our minus 1 at the end. And the reason I'm doing this and rewriting 25 as 24 plus 1 so now I can use the property a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 24 plus 1 is going to equal 2 to the power of 24 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 1. Now basically our goal throughout this video is to get to change our values to be as small as possible so then at the end we can do whatever we need to do with them to get our final result. So 2, two to the power of 24, how do we simplify this and make it even smaller? I can rewrite this as 2 to the power of 12 times 2. And another property of exponents is that if I have something in form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2 is going to equal 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2. And I have this times 2 minus 1. So now I'm actually going to plug in the actual value of 2 to the power of 12 because 2 to the power of 12 is small enough where we know the value, the exact value of it. So if you guys don't know what 2 to the power of 12 is, well, 2 to the power of 10, you should always remember this as 1024. So 2 to the power of 11 is going to be double of 1024, which is 2048. And 2 to the power of 12, which is the value we're looking for, is going to be double of 2048, which is 4096. So now I get 4096 squared times 2 minus 1. And now this is equal to, I'm going to simplify this, 4000 plus 96 squared times 2 minus 1. And the reason I'm doing this is because 4096 squared is really hard to calculate by itself. So if we change it with four, to 4000 plus 96 squared, I can use the property a plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is 4000 and b is 96. So this turns into... 4,000 squared plus 2 times 4,000 times 96 plus 96 squared. And I have all of this minus 1. Oh, sorry. All of this times 2 minus 1. Now, 4,000 squared is equal to 16 million. 2 times 4,000 is 8,000, and 8,000 times 96 is equal to 768,000. And now I have this plus 96 squared, which is equal to 9,216. And all of this I have times 2 minus 1. So now, I'm going to add all these up. So if I add all of these up in the parentheses, I get 16,777,216. So now I have this times 2 minus 1. So if I multiply this by 2, I get 33,000,000. 554,432, and I have this minus 1, which is equal to 33,554,431. So 
So this is my answer to this problem.